Greetings, brothers. I am happy to have this occasion to share a few words with you as the new Superior General. We are in the midst of the final days of our chapter. It's been exciting time, despite the long duration of this chapter. As you know, a general chapter is invited and is challenged to look at the familiar, the familiar Lasallian world, the familiar world in which our ministries take place, but to look at them with fresh eyes. So often it is not so much finding something new, but deepening the good reality that already exists. And in this chapter, I am pleased that we have reaffirmed the importance of evangelization and catechetics in our Lasallian ministry and service not only to the poor, but with the poor. I am excited about the realization that in the formation of our young brothers and in the formation of our partners, we realize how important accompaniment along with formation is to the future of the Lasallian mission and the future of our vocations. The representative group of young brothers here have been truly inspirational and dynamic. And we are looking forward to not so much starting new mission initiatives on behalf of the poor and with the poor, but deepening those that are already underway. For example, in the South Sudan. I'm particularly grateful to the brothers of Bogota and Medellin for your commitment to an existing initiatives in the Holy Land. It is important that the church and our Lasallian mission maintains a viable and vital presence in the heart of our Christian faith. So I sincerely thank you for this commitment on your part. I look forward to the opportunity to visit each of you in one of my pastoral visits to Bogota. In the meantime, please continue to pray for a successful conclusion of our chapter. We are in the final days of revising our beautiful rule of 1987. And I emphasize that it is a revision of our rule. It is not a new rule. But I think some of the revisions we have incorporated will make it an even more spiritual document about who we are as brothers today and what we are called to be. So again, thank you, brothers, and I am grateful for this opportunity to speak to you from across the ocean. God bless you, and live Jesus in our hearts forever.